Hello, everyone. I am Creatorius Rex, uh, but I'm also Brett Kinsella. We'll talk about that in just a moment. We're here today to talk about the Niftorian NFT project. And let me just tell you a couple things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a little bit about the objectives. Then we're going to introduce the team. We're going to talk about the art, the utility, all the mechanics associated with the roadmap. But I think we should start with why we're here. So you probably have come across a lot of NFT projects. This one we think is a little bit different. It's artist-centric and it's collector-friendly. Now, this artist-centric aspect is, we think, unique because what we wanted to really do is focus on the art. And in fact, one of the key things that we're really thinking about is we're thinking about our goal is to help a thousand artists launch quality NFT projects. And we have a really broad program here, but it's not just for artists. The collectors are really gonna benefit from this as well because they're gonna get early access to the artists. And the artists are going to work with some of the collectors because as we know, a lot of, a lot of these projects in fact, require a team. And that's one of the things that we really started out with. We want to make NFT collecting a team sport. And so let's just bring everybody up on stage here. We're going to introduce ourselves one, uh, one at a time. One of the really important things for us here is we want to make sure that you know who we are. I think a couple months ago, it was okay to be anonymous in this space, but it really isn't anymore. And so I'm Brett Kinsella. You'll see me on Twitter and in the Discord as Creatorius Rex. Uh, you'll also see me as at Brett Kinsella on Twitter and other places. I'm probably best known for my work in AI. I've been working at the front end of technology cycles since way back in the mid-1990s. I've done mobile. I've done the web. I've done e-commerce. I've done RFID. And I've been working in the AI space since 2013. This is the next big shift in the technology market. And in particular, I think it's important to me because you know what? I come from a family of artists. In fact, my mother was an art teacher for almost 40 years. My aunt's an art teacher. My brother is an opera singer. And so that's one of the reasons we really want to focus this around the artists. Think about this. Back in the 90s, we introduced the web and we had a digital distribution mechanism that was worldwide for the first time. And that helped artists not that much you know, when it comes down to it. Maybe you could do a website, particularly later on when it became a little bit more effective. When we got to Web 2, the artists were able to distribute their, their art a little bit easier, really not the full art, but really just the thumbnails through Instagram and through some of the other social media. But again, it didn't change things that much. It particularly didn't change their ability to monetize, their ability to get beyond the JPEG in that case. And that's one of the things that really excites me about this because we see this as revolutionary for artists and we see it revolutionary for collectors. And in fact, from a collector standpoint, one of the things I love about this is there are something like a thousand times more collectors now that there are NFTs than there were in the past. So let's just run around the horn and let's introduce you to the rest of the team. I think what we'll do is, Mikkel, why don't you introduce yourself next? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mikkel, also known as XM Stan on the interwebs, and I am a technologist. I have started my professional career as a developer and mostly doing uh, building products in the media and broadcast TV spaces. And curiosity led me to voice technologies. That's where I met Brad. That's where I met Roger, whom you're going to meet in a moment. And that's also where I co-founded one of the biggest uh, voice technology communities out there. Um, and from there, uh, that, that the same curiosity pretty much led me to this space. Um, and this space is also uh, very important to me, uh, you know, personally, because as much as I um, remember the smell of an art studio from when I was a, from when I was a kid, I also remember the struggle uh, for the artist that was, that was really, really real. And this whole space gives new hope uh, to artists, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm really happy to be here. And well, I'm happy to have you, Mikhail. And it's probably worth saying that we bonded 
uh, we already knew each other, but we really bonded in the NFT space over BeFriends in the initial launch there. Yes. We were both active. We both minted in that. And that started this process for us. I think we we both knew what was going on in the industry, uh, but then we saw what was possible. And that's what really sparked a lot of these ideas among us and some of the other players here on the team around what could be done in this space. And that's what got us so excited. Absolutely. All the possibilities, you know, they seem endless at the moment. And there's there's so much that we can do. Uh, and we're going to tell you about some of that later on uh, in the show today. It's absolutely exciting. I, I just can't, I just can't wait um, to see, you know, where it's going to take us, where it's going to bring us in a couple of years, because I think it's going to change. It really is going to change lives for a lot of people. Yeah, great. Okay. I think next up is Roger Kibbe, the Kibster. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, the Kibster is my childhood nickname, but my real name is Roger Kibbe, but you'll find me as the Kibster on Discord. And, uh, you know, I have a background as a technologist, a developer, an architect, technology strategist. And I'm probably most well known uh, for my work in voice and conversational AI technology. Um, but you know what got me really excited about NFTs is I grew up in a family of artists. So my dad was a professional photographer, uh, but could never quite make a living doing it. He probably had 20 jobs when I was growing up because he wanted to fuel his passion, which was photography. And my mom's main uh, hobby was painting. So, you know, I grew up with all these artists and I saw their struggles and their challenges and their successes. I went down the technology route. Um, but then when I discovered NFTs, it was like this incredible marriage of I'm a passionate technologist, but I also right have this deep family connection. It's very personal to me to think about artists. So I'm super excited to uh, be working with NFTs to really empower artists, get them in front of collectors, and then, of course, use my technology passion as a vehicle to do so. So uh, looking forward to... Uh, working and meeting with all of you. Yeah, great. And I think you and I first got excited about Robatos around the same time, right? When that came out, uh, it, it's fit really nicely with some of the things we were doing in the AI space. And uh, it just was one of those things where we started talking about that and then figuring out how we could uh, collaborate on some of the things that we both had ideas working independently. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, Brett, you told me about Robotos and I checked it out and I was like, okay, that's cool art. And, you know, we work in voice and conversational AI. So that kind of connection of the bot world uh, was great. And then, uh, boy, that led me to kind of a, being a bit of a degen, which I'm proud of. So, <laughs> okay. So we have the technology side covered. Let's get into the art side. Skojo, Josh Scott. Hello, everybody. I'm Sko Joe. Yes, uh, some people call me Josh Scott as well. Uh, I'm an illustrator. I'm a painter. I'm an art director, designer, a UXer, animator, uh, creative director. I guess uh, I guess I'm kind of like a creative Swiss Army knife, if you will. Um, I like to do it all. Uh, when I went to school for art, I thought I was going to be a children's book illustrator. Uh, the internet pretty much happened the year I graduated, and that changed my whole career trajectory into interactive design. Um, I spent a lot of time working at agencies in DC and New York. Um, been very fortunate to have some clients like uh, Marvel and the NFL and DreamWorks and Audi and Discovery Channel. Um, let's see, uh, I even spent some time trying to solve the credibility problem online with a startup called Knowledge. And a uh, recent neuropathy in my feet uh, made me start to paint again and do my fine art. A little bit more and that led me to um to do more painting and get excited about what the nft space can do for artists as well and that led me to to research it and it actually led me to you brett that's kind of um why i'm here working on nfts with you absolutely uh and we bonded initially over what project it would probably have to be the mutant apes for sure definitely of the of the board ape yacht club yes in fact, my blog, but I did jump in for a mutant for sure. Yes, you did. And and but because of that, you yeah. brought me into it. Like I knew about the mutants. I was just like looking around it, but you were so into it. I was just like, oh, I, 
I can't, I, you know, I, I have to ape in and uh, really happy I did. Now, one of the things also just about this team that I think is worth mentioning is that we've all worked together before. So, you know, anytime that you're looking at, let's say a startup or project or something like that, do the founders know each other? Have they done work together before? And that's one of the things that we did. We, we all know each other. We've worked together before. We like each other. And we're all really excited and passionate about this. And one of the things that we're totally passionate about, you might be coming through already, but it's definitely going to come through now, is the art. So Skojo, do you want to take it away and talk a little bit about uh, what the philosophy is that we brought to this project from the beginning? I would love to. So, I mean, obviously we're very, very art focused. So we wanted to put a lot of love and care into all aspects of the project that had to do with art. Um, and there really are three aspects of it when you think about it. There's the, the mint pass part of it. Um, there's the, uh, the PFP part of it. And then there's also memes. So um, for the mint pass, we actually hired 14 artists to to come up with an owl. And the assignment was to, if you want to bring those up? Bring up those yeah, pictures. absolutely. Keep going. Um, we had 15, uh, 14 artists and uh, the assignment was basically to create an owl in their style. We didn't want any restrictions. We just wanted it to be in theirs. Thank you very much. There they go. Um, it had to be in their style and in an environment. We didn't want it to be from the head up because it would look like a PFP, but really just an owl in their style. And the goal was to have as many different styles as possible. So we had some traditional artists, we had digital artists, uh, street artists, um, an animator. Um, one of these is actually a, a generative piece done just from code. Um, so we got, we got so many, so many good things in this. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, an illustration from Joe McKendry. We did, we've got some mint passes from JK5 from Keon, um, a lot of different, different, different types of work. Um, probably the best part about working with this was all the different artists brought something different to the table. So they didn't really um, need much handholding. They just did their own style and, and, and rocked it. And each of these mint passes will, will get you one of the PFPs. So, okay. Now let me ask you a question though, because I think this is important. Perfect. Um, we had this idea of a mint pass and we, we'd both seen mint passes being done in the past. Um, it's a good mechanic, uh, just to make it easier for people to know how they're going to get into the pre-mint guarantee that they'll be able to get a profile picture sort of, that's one of the main tokens for utility going forward. But when this came back, the quality was so good. We started thinking really this is living up to our expectations that we wanted to create a collection, a worthy collection out of the mint passes. And so we wound up renaming these. Yeah, this is actually the, the founder's collection mint pass. Right. So the, the whole thing here is we want to make sure that we had this, like this art is so good. And you guys go to the chance to see this later. So go to niftorian.com. Every, each one of the artists has their own page spotlights not just their artwork but also the, some in-process pictures they'll have links to some of their other work so i'm really excited about this and it just kudos to you skojo for pulling together such a great list of uh, a great roster of artists for this thanks yeah it was really really fun to do we asked them to hide some prime numbers in there too so if you feel like a little challenge see if you can find some elements that have prime numbers in there as well and uh, each thing has something a little bit related to technology as well. So there's, there's that aspect as well. We also have the PFP, which is super, super, super exciting. Um, I really was excited to work on the PFP part. Um, you know, as an illustrator and, and painter, I often have to consider how, you know, character and, and narrative play a role in, in my image making. So to have the opportunity to work on a, a PFP and to create these, you know, characters that that helped kind of form the lore of the story and 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 created so much of the the fun of this project was 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 really really fun. Like lots of attributes we had to think of. Um, we bought in we brought in uh, Matthew Curry, who's an amazing designer and and painter. 
He's worked with, let's see, uh, Pokemon, Thievery Corporation, Budweiser, and he brought his A-game to this. So as you can see, these are some of the owls. He came up with seven different factions. So we have seven different kind of eras of time. We have the, the ancient owls who are very, very old. We have the Renaissance artist owls, the industrial revolution owls, and it goes all the way up to the, the present day owl and even into the future and an alien race. So they're really, really, really fun. And each of these owls have obviously different attributes that are based on their moment in time. And the fun happens when you start seeing them all get mixed up. So you could have a, a Renaissance owl, you could have an, an, an ancient owl that's got a, a toga and a Terminator eye that's, that's holding a latte. And where they get mixed up is, is really a, a lot of the fun. Super fun to make all this. And then the next part of that is obviously, oh, the memes. Yes, let's talk about the memes. We had Betsy Schrock do these memes and uh, they're really, really fun as well. Um, they're whimsical, they're timely. We try to add some culture, cultural references in there as well. And you know, memes get shared because uh, they're, they're funny images that, um, that people can relate to. They kind of ca capture a cultural zeitgeist in a way and um, they add humor to it. So we wanted to play with some cultural references and talk about the project in a, in a kind of fun way that would get shared. So she's created a bunch of these memes. This one on the left is one of my favorite ones. It's got Richard Branson and Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. And I think the line is uh, Sir Richard Branson saying, hey, Jeff, is that one of your new drones? And uh, you see the, the owl fly off into space. As I, lo I love the William the Shatner. Pioneers. I love the William Shatner and the baby Bjorn. Yeah, that's, my, that's my favorite part too. Because Jeff Bezos did carry him in space. Yes, that is true. Yeah, yeah this these, is are, awesome. these are really, really fun. So we're we're throwing these out every. I think every couple of days we release another meme. Yeah, I think there were I, there were a number of things that I, I know you wanted to you wanted to come out with this. So first of all, we wanted to spotlight artists, which you can see obviously the founders collection, which serves as the mint pass as well. That people will see that the, the high quality associated with the. Uh, with the with the profile picture project and then the memes as well because we wanted to start getting a broad sweep of these different types of of art and give people a an idea of the fact that it's a big world out there from an artist standpoint and also to connect with artists with different styles and say hey this could be you too you know here's some different things that are going on out there and we've also taken that into running some art contests you want to just comment on that really quickly Sure. Yeah, we're trying to get people to to come into our Discord and to engage with us. So we've, we're running some art contests where you just have to post art into the channel, and it'll get voted on, and you can you can win a uh, you can win some ETH, I think 0.11 ETH, and a mint pass as well. And a lot of people are jumping in and and throwing in some good art. We've seen some interesting stuff come through. Yeah, I mean, we set this up the first time we set it up. We set it up like on a Thursday and said, hey, you have to have them all submitted by. Uh, Tuesday, and we got a couple dozen really high quality responses. And you know, we gave away awards and we did a write up in Niftorious.com on the winner. Uh, so we're trying to, to recognize the fact that a lot of people are doing really good work out there, but also really excited about the opportunity to expose some of these artists for the first time to the NFT process. Those aren't NFTs yet. Anyone can just bring them in but we actually have a lot of resources for them and we're going to be able to help them uh, bring it to market as an NFT if they like, or some of their other art, but it's just a nice way to, to get them engaged with what's going on from this standpoint. And one of the things I didn't realize was how, or I should say that most of the artists that I come across are familiar with NFTs, but they don't know the details. And so it's turns out to be one of the, the key things that we're going to wind up providing is that on-ramp for folks to really have the knowledge they need to understand the different things that they can do and to be successful. That's right. Okay. So we, we hit on the art, so we'll, we'll take that off. And I think next up we have Roger Kibbe. Roger. All right, everyone. Yeah. I want to talk about utilities and roadmap, but before I do that, 
uh, Brett mentioned Niftorious.com. And that really, so Niftorian.com is where you go to learn about the NFT and all of that. But Niftorious.com is our sister site. And that's where we have a lot of NFT news. And what's really cool is we're going to be releasing some pro proprietary NFT research. Matter of fact, some of that has already been released. So definitely check out Niftorious.com. Um, it's just another uh, value add that we're adding to the NFT community to get people up to speed or if they're already up to speed to learn even more about NFTs. All right. So our roadmap. So the first thing I want to talk about and something we're super, super excited about is the NFT Accelerator. All right. We talked about, hey, we want to help artists launch an NFT. And so we thought, well, how do we do this? We're going to run an accelerator. So similar to a startup accelerator, four to six week program, there'll be education, there'll be some mentoring. And then at the end of that four to six week program, the artist or whoever the participant, because it won't just be limited artists. We realize there are people creating NFTs who are not artists, but have some really cool ideas. Uh, they will go, they'll have a demo day. And at the demo day, they will present their idea. And guess what? There'll be an audience of collectors and those collectors can then go uh, and buy an NFT that really helps fund that NFT project. So very meta in a sense there, but really our idea is, hey, we heard about all these artists who, and they want to jump in NFTs, but they're not sure how. We're going to be right by your side. We're going to be helping you through that demo day and beyond if you like, or after demo day, you won't go, want to go off and do your own thing. All, all cool. One thing I want to point out, we are taking applications right now. We haven't even minted. It doesn't matter. We want to get this kicked off and started. So what you need to do is go to Niftorian.com. You can read a little bit there. But what you really need to do is from there, click on join our Discord. From the Discord, you get the link to apply. We have a lot of discussions. We'll have more and more discussions about the accelerator. But listen, if you've been thinking about launching an NFT, but going, man, how do I do it? Go to Niftorian.com, click on join our Discord, go read about the Accelerator. If it seems like the program for you, please go and apply. So uh, very, very passionate about that. All right. Hey, after, Roger, I just uh -huh. want to jump in there just to add one thing. So sure. people should know that we are reviewing these uh these applications now, and it's a rolling admission. So that means it's not first come first serve, but we're we're taking a bunch in and we're going to accept some. We're gonna do interviews with folks. So we're taking this very seriously. Some of us have experience with accelerators. I was a mentor to a, a prominent tech, accelera tech so accelerator for, for some time. So we're running a similar type of process. But I also wanted just to point out that before the NFT project even launches, this is the 0% on the roadmap. We've got Niftorious.com out there. We're, we're providing information for artists so they have a better idea of what's going on in the market for collectors with some of that research. And then we have the accelerator going. And so just so people don't are, are very clear on this, I should say, uh, that we're, we're running this right now before the Mint. So if you want to be involved in that, we definitely recommend, recommend you do so. And I definitely recommend for collectors to come in now and see some of the art that's being posted in the discord because some of those are the up and coming artists that i think you're going to be interested in seeing early and so that's one of the things that we're really focused on is creating this opportunity for collectors to meet artists for artists to meet collectors mm -hmm. uh it's a it, it's an overlooked uh value that i think is really important to both some people talk about it we're actually structured to do it but i should let you Go on with the utility in the roadmap. Oh, no, absolutely. No, I think that's super important. And Brett just talked about artists meeting collectors and collectors meeting artists. So the th second thing on a roadmap is this idea of a 100 artist NFT show. And so our idea is we're going to go out and find about 100 artists. Some of them never done an NFT. Maybe some of them have done a little bit. Maybe they don't have a sale or just a few sales. And then we will have an artist show, likely in the metaverse, and the whole idea is the art will be there, the artists will be there, the collectors will be there. And this is really an opportunity for collectors to talk to artists, artists to talk to collectors, see the art. You know, I always say art is so much more interesting uh, when you actually talk to the artist behind it. 
So the 100 Artist Show, uh, that is coming up. And then uh, after that, we will be doing an artist conference, NFT Artist Con, we're talking about. So for artists and collectors, um, and really along that same line of getting artists and collectors to be able to talk and communicate and understand each other, uh, this will be a chance for collectors to get up, talk about how they collect, what's important to them, uh, maybe what they're looking for that they haven't seen in NFT space which maybe will inspire an artist to go uh, build something uh, really cool, unique, and innovative. And then for artists to get up and talk about their process and what they do and how they're thinking about the NFT world and what they want to do. Um, you know, and I think if you look across all of these, from the Accelerator to the 100 Artists Show to the Artist Con, the common thread across there is artists talking to collectors and collectors talking to artists. You know, it's amazing. If you talk to artists, you know, what, what would you like to hear? They're like, well, I want to know who buys my art. And then you talk to collectors and they're like, well, I want to know more about the artists. So it seems so obvious to us, hey, we need to create events and ways for artists to talk to collectors, collectors to talk to artists and create a common community amongst them. Um, so those are the three big things that are roadmap. Uh, and certainly there's more to come after that. Okay. Next up, I think we have Mikhail Stanislawek. Mikhail? Yes. So the next question is, how will this all work? So I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the mechanics of uh, how the Founders Collection, where the Mint Pass is going to tie into the PFP project. But before I do that, let me take a, a bit of a step back, right? And maybe you're not too familiar with, with terms like PFP or Mint Pass. Um, so treat the Mint Pass and the Founders Collection as a ticket. It's going to be your ticket for the pre-sale. Well, the pre-sale that we're calling the pre-mint for the actual PFP collection, the collection that will have all the utility that Roger uh, was just uh, describing. So, to start with, we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna launch uh, the Founders Collection Men Pass, and that will start with a limited whitelist, um, which you might wanna get into. And in order to do that, the best way is to join our Discord and and uh, closely watch the announcements channel because that's the source of truth for everything that we're doing. Um, so that limited uh, uh, whitelist is going to be followed by a small public sale. And during that time, we're going to be we're going to be minting the NFTs, the mint pass NFTs that will have the utility that will give you the ability to mint up to three, PFP tokens uh, during the pre-mint, the pre-sale for the for the proper NFT project. Um, but there's going to be a twist. There's going to be a twist uh, to the utility, a surprise that we're not revealing just yet. So even more, uh, even better reason to join our Discord and watch the announcements channel. Um, Following that, in about a week, we're gonna we're gonna start with the collab. So, which we're working on, uh, we're gonna uh, allow um, people uh, from projects that we're collaborating with that are gonna get onto the whitelist to mint their uh, mint pass uh, founder collection NFTs. And following that, there's gonna be another uh, public sale, but without that twist, without that surprise that we're uh, that we're that we have for you. Um, then following all of this, we're going to get into the mint for the uh, OWL PFP project, the project that will mint the NFTs, that will give you the utilities that Roger described. Uh, and then the, the structure is going to be really simple. First, we're going to uh, have the pre-mint, the pre-sale that will run for an extended period of, period of time in order to give you the ability to uh, mint your NFTs at the time that is going to be most convenient for you, but also at a time that will um, allow you to mint it with the least amount of gas needed uh, to make sure that you can find the time that you can use to mint the, uh, the, the uh, PFP with the least amount of cost. Um, following that, there's going to be a public open sale for, for, the, PF, uh, for the PFP. And 
that's pretty much it for the mechanics. I think you're muted, Brett. Thank you so much, Mikel. I appreciate that uh, on so many levels. All right. So what did we just learn? We learned that we have this artist-centric and uh, collector-friendly uh, NFT project. Uh, we are going to help really high-quality artists launch a 1,000 NFT projects. I mean, this is one of the things that we really care about, the art and the artists. I think that's come through. And we are really you know, focused on this idea of making NFT creation and collection a team sport because there are so many people out there who can learn more and can be more effective in this space by collaborating with others. And that's something that we're really excited about. Yeah, I hope you were able to learn a lot more about this. What I really uh, focus on or suggest everybody do is go to niftorian.com. So check out all of the details of that. And I should say one other thing. We actually have a whole roadmap to already done. So we've got a lot of things in here, which I consider the scaffolding for the project and really great in terms of the focus, but there are several other elements that are gonna come afterwards. Now, the other thing I should really point out is we're not going to do the full uh, PFP Mint initially. We're gonna do just a little over a thousand of them. Uh, and so there will be some added value of the people who come in early, uh, so we're going to do basically a tranche early, and then we're going to do a little bit more later. And as we reveal the roadmap to this will all become very clear about why we're doing this. So maybe everybody could reveal themselves again. We'll just say, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, taking a couple minutes to, to think about or to learn more about what we're doing at Niftorian.com and uh, what we think is a really interesting and innovative NFT project. And by the way, this is a 10 year project for all of us. So that's one of the things people are wondering about these days. Like, are people committed to this? We actually have an entire project, but more than a project, this is gonna become a business of supporting artists, of building great NFT projects, but really not doing it for them, but facilitating them so that everybody can be successful in their own right. And we, we're really, really enjoying this already. Uh, check out uh, the Discord which you'll be able to get through niftorian.com. Check out some of the art contests we have going on right now. And I look forward for you to see you uh, show up for the Founders Collection, the Mint Pass, and then the PFP afterwards. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.